Trade is one delicacy that cuts across all ages, race, religion, and class, while also coming most handy for different situations, making for a perfect blend with different spices, and it has also evolved with different recipes. Over time, bread-eating culture had fallen on a misadventure, no thanks to the prevailing economic tailspin. While many low-income earners had taken solace in bread as one of the most affordable food items, the spiraling high cost of living had cut up with the cost of bread production, which is currently hitting the skies, putting the one staple food item out of the reach of many. In an attempt to keep an evil kill on the rising curse, there are scary reports of bakers now infusing saccharine and bromate as substitute additives in bread making. Arise News takes its investigation to Yanya, an axis about 10 kilometers away from Abuja, to visit a bakery owned by the chairman of the master bakers of the Federal Capital Territory. One staple food that has become almost indispensable to every table at every home is bread, and this tells you how much importance that comes with bread eating and the culture of bread eating in Nigeria, uh, which has developed a fanatical devotion at every home. And that's the reason we are here at Quality Love Bakery at Yaya Axis, about 10 kilometers away from Abuja Federal Capital Territory. And we are here against the backdrop of reports going round that bakers now infuse saccharine and bromate in bread making production. So we are here to find out what exactly is the case. So we'll be meeting with the chief master baker himself, engineer Isaac Abdurrahim. Allow me to indulge you in this investigation. After a facility tour, we took up the baker on the potential dangers of using bromate and saccharine in bread making. Unlearned bakers still use it because this bromate has been used for many years. But modern bakers are not using it anymore. It is outdated. So we are talking of saccharine now. Saccharine and bromate, all the two were used before by old method of baking. But the, today it is being discarded because there are better improvers that are even better than bromate and saccharine. Hygienically, is saccharine potentially dangerous to the human health? Sure. It causes cancer. So people that are using saccharine are putting customers into danger. They are exposing them to cancer. From Yanya, we drove back to Abuja, where we also interviewed the president of the Nutrition Society of Nigeria. Saccharine and bromate are generally recognized as uh, food additives that has uh, um, is used in the um, production of bread and other flour products. Interestingly, um, these two food additives have been banned in some countries of the world, and. Uh, I think Nigeria is also inclusive. And I think in way back 2003, 2004, Nigeria actually also came out to ban the use of these uh, two food additives because um, evidence from experiments carried out on rats and mice have actually uh, indicated that uh, uh, saccharine is uh, carcinogenic. Perhaps the regular bread eaters on the streets might just have something to say on the taste of bread lately. These days now, because of the situation we found ourselves into, the, the bread is not like the normal bread we used to eat again. And the amount we used to buy is not even, uh, is not encouraging. Thank you very much from Arise News. Arise News, thank yeah. you sir. I, I bake bread myself most of the time, so I don't eat the Taste. You said you bake bread yourself. Could you tell us the ingredients you use in baking your bread? Okay, basically I use flour, sugar, yeast, eggs. That's just it. I don't, I don't use any preservatives. The price is too high these days. But according to the result that I'm getting about, the, there is a particular bread I eat, Chabot. I think there was one certain time I bought a bread from... Um, well, the sticking point here is that there's still no way to detect a bread made with saccharine and bromate until when it's consumed. Have you had a taste of bread lately? Well, while this special delicacy cuts across every table, it's also 
and eating culture that cuts across every age, tribe, class, and religion. So nothing must go wrong with this special delicacy. So what a bitter taste that lives in the mouth when you hear that it's been infused with some dangerous and unhygienic substance like bromate and saccharine. So while it's true that man must not live by bread alone, it surely represents a vital ingredient of life from the Federal Secretary at Abuja, Benga Ashuru. Arise News.